Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. This is chemistry. And of course, we are going to uh, go into a new topic on this episode. We are done with the periodic table. So please, we are jumping into uh, another new topic called types of reactions. All right. That means that for the next episodes to come, we are going to be discussing what types of what reactions, types of reactions. All right. And of course, also know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the one and only best jam CBT practice app for your sure success in exam, the OTD School Jam app. It is being currently displayed on your screen right now. Right. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. All right. It has all the past questions. That means you do not need to bother to go and get past questions outside. All right. And of course, it also has what some wonderful features that will make you excel in your study, like the classroom feature where we have an ai power chatbot all right of course that what that teaches you while you are what trying to what get answer to questions it shows you what how or why an answer should be the one you are choosing it does not give you a direct answer but it teaches you and you can ask the chatbot questions while you are what trying to what decipher what the answer all right wonderful feature you should what take advantage of also we have what the utme challenge that will conduct for all students who are participating in jam to win prizes that is to make it competitive and of course for them to be able to what, get used to how jam what releases question and how jam what releases what they are what their results because every saturday every saturday i repeat again every saturday till one week to the jam exam we run this challenge for all what for all Jamboard students on the app. So please participate in the challenge to win prizes and also what gets you to see what your score every week. Imagine you are seeing your score every week, you are seeing your score every week. At the point you get, sorry, at the point you get used to, you get used to what, uh, how Jamboard sets question and then you are, you are seeing what your scores, that means you know what your weak areas, you know your strengths and you are able to what improve upon them. So please jump on the app. It is very, 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 very important that you get this app or right? yes and also um it, there's a wonderful feature called the word the question search feature where you can search uh for questions per topic and search for questions per topic and you'll be able to what to get more what more more elucidation on the particular topic that you just was studied all right many other features i do not want to talk about because of time but also know that what uh this app is available for both android phone it's available for also uh your laptop or your computers at home so in case you want to practice with your computer you do not want distractions too much all right just send a message on whatsapp on this number 091215152468 but eventually you want to activate also just send a message on whatsapp you don't need to call that is the wonderful part you don't need to call anybody just what make sure that what that you um uh send a message on whatsapp that you want to activate or you want to get the pc version for the app all right that is that for uh the app now let's get back to types of reactions all right now what is a chemical reaction first of all to start with a chemical reaction is a process of formation of new substances right a chemical reaction always leads to what to the formation of what of a new substance all right it's a process of formation of new substances from previously existing ones it's a process of formation process of formation of new substances from previously existing ones all right by some means by some means that is what as some chemical means all right we say what a chemical reaction is a process of formation of new substances or so it's a process whereby new substances are formed from what previously existing ones all right by some what by some means right? by some what by some chemical what means all right now we're talking about what new substances here i'm talking about what previously existing not ones right the previously existing substances are called the reactants the previously existing substances are called the reactants, while the new substances that are formed are called the products. All right. So the previously existing what substances are called the reactants, while the new substances that are formed are called the 
product. Now, know that for a chemical reaction to occur, there must be what some collusions between the reactant with molecules that are effective. There must be what some collisions. Some collisions. The most reactable air particles must collide with one another in a manner that are what that are effective. That are what effective. All right. Now I was saying that for a chemical reaction to occur, reactant molecules must involve themselves in some collisions that are what that means reactant molecules, the reactants, right? The previously existing substances, right, must be involved in some collisions that are what effective. That's about effective. That means to say, in other words, that what a reaction is not said to be effective except what it leads to a chemical reaction. All right, a reaction is not said to be effective. It's not said to be effective unless it leads to a chemical what reaction. If it does not lead to a chemical reaction, it means it's not what effective. All right, so that is what the simple what definition or simple simple explanation to that. All right, please, if you have not liked this video, what you are doing is very wrong. Liking the video will make other students easily find this video. Also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, you are doing yourself because subscribing to this channel is first of all free, and secondly, you are going to be getting notifications on your phone whenever we release a new video. In that way, you are able to, to follow us. Thirdly, also share the video. Don't be stingy. Right? It's not meant for just you alone to succeed. Share these videos to your friends, to your class group. Let them know about the channel and what you are doing. And um, God bless you. All right. Now, I'll talk about what effectiveness, right, of collisions, right? And also, know that what during a chemical reaction, old, old bonds, old bonds are broken. Old bonds are broken and then new ones, new ones are formed. During a chemical reaction, old bonds are broken and new ones are formed. All right. So please take note what of this. During a chemical reaction, old bonds are broken and new ones are formed. All right. Now, there are some more reactions that, what, that go in both what direction. A reaction can occur. The reaction can what can proceed in both what direction? They are trying to say that what that reaction is what is concomitant, concomitant. All right, the reaction that what that that is concomitant is a reaction that goes in both what direction, and we call this type of reaction reversible reactions. Reversible reactions. All right, these are the reactions that can what that can go in both what direction. So you see something like this. All right, this is what the symbol for for reversibility. All right, so for the reversible reaction, you see a symbol like this. All right, the reaction that what that can go in both direction. Why there are some there are some reaction that just go in one way, that just go in one direction. We call all those type of reaction irreversible reaction, irreversible reaction, irreversible reactions. There are those reactions that can just go in one direction. All right, why what the ones that can go in both directions are called the reversible what reaction. Now, there are so many type of reactions I'm going to consider. All right, let us quickly just see all of them. Let's see all of them, and we are going to start taking one after taking them one after the other in, in the next in the next episode to come so that we can get full understanding and elucidation on the topic. All right, types of reaction, there are different types of reactions. All right, we have one, the simple combination reaction. All right, then number two, we have what to call the displacement reaction. Right, number three, we have thermal decomposition reaction. Right, then we have number four, thermal dissociation reaction all right then number five of course we have uh double decomposition decomposition reaction all right then number six we have catalytic reaction all right number seven we have um also have redox reaction Redox reaction that is a uh, oxidation oxidation 
oxidation uh, and reduction reaction. All right, then number eight, we have photochemical reactions. All right, now these are the some of what the type of react some of the reactions what some of the types of reaction that we have. Symbol combination reaction, displacement reaction, thermal dis decomposition reaction, thermal dissociation reaction, double decomposition reaction, catalytic reaction, redox reaction, like oxidation and reduction reaction. This part is very it's, it's like a bone in the neck of what many of our students, but we are going to work together. Together, we are going to work deal with it. Please like this video, make sure you are liking this video, and make sure you are subscribing subscribing to this channel. All right, then of course, we have our photochemical water reactions. I'm going to see all this type of water reaction in the next episodes to come, one after the other. We're going to begin with the simple combination reaction in the next episode. All right, so my name remains Ola Bitangod, and I would love to see you in that next class. Thanks for watching.